This is a continuation of Section 5.2 on the Addition Rule and Complements. So in, in number two, we're going to use the Addition Rule and also Complements to solve some probabilities. The data below represent the number of students in Fall 2018 who scored in the listed grade ranges on the Math 1530 final exam. Use the data to find the probabilities rounded to three decimal places as needed. So in part, what we have here are the different grade ranges for the final exam and the number of students in each one of these categories. So as we know to find probabilities, we're going to use relative frequencies. So in the numerator, we'll have the number of times our, interested, our event that we're interested in occurred. In the denominator, we'll have out of the total. So the first thing we have to do is get this sum. So with our calculator, add it up, and that sum is 206. So relative to 206 students, how many earned a score between 91 and 95? Well, we can see that was 30 relative to the total two, 30 students out of 206 scored between 91 and 95. And then we're to round to three decimal places. So 30 divided by 206 would be 0.146. Okay, in part B, it says find the probability that a student in this group of 206 students did not score between 91 and 95. So there are one, two, three, four, five categories where that's the case. But if we recall complements, we can solve this problem much easier than adding up those five. We can say the probability of not 91 to 95 equals 1 minus the probability that it is 91 to 95. And we just found that number. That was 0 0.146. So our answer would be 0 0.854. Using complements can often be the quickest way to answer a question. Find the probability that a student in this group scored less than 91. Well, which categories are less than 91? It's the top one, two, three, four classes. So if we add up the top four classes, we get 160 relative to the total, relative probability. So we get 0.777. And finally, in Part D, it says find the probability that a student in this group of 206 students scored at least 81. The least score of this student, these students would be 81. So where would that be? So these were 81 to 85. At least 81 means we want 81 to 85, 86 to 90, 91 to 95, and 96 to 100. So we want the sum of the last four classes, and that would be 124 out of 206, or 0 0.602. Finally, in Part E, we're to interpret our answer to Part D. If 1,000 randomly selected students took the Math 1530 final exam in Fall 2018, we would expect about how many, I'm going to leave that blank for a minute, how many students to score at least, because this is part D, was at least 81. So how do we figure that out? Well, if the probability of at least 81 is 0 0.602, then 0 0.602 of 1,000 
would tell us how many students, and that's 602. So we would expect about 602 students out of 1,000 to score at least 81. Okay, we'll continue this in the next video.